question call to the Honourable the Leader of the Opposition. Thank you very much, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Order. Prime Minister. Order. Members on my right. The Leader of the Opposition will begin his question again in silence. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Prime Minister. Over the last 15 months, the cost of everything has gone up under this Prime Minister. The latest CPI data shows that food is up 8.2 per cent, housing costs 10.4 per cent, insurance is up 17.3 per cent, electricity up 18.2 per cent and gas is up by a massive 28 per cent. The Prime Minister has broken every promise made before the election and made poor decisions every day since. Why are Australians paying the price for a distracted and out-of-touch Prime Minister failing to focus on the real issues affecting Australians? Order. The Leader of the House will cease interjecting. The Prime Minister has the call. I thank the Leader of the Opposition uh, for his question, once again showing that he has absolutely nothing positive to offer the Australian people. Absolutely nothing. Because there are three vital ways that we're tackling Order. the cost of living. Getting costs members down for families, left, getting wages up for workers and getting the budget onto a stronger foundation. And on all of those measures, those opposite oppose everything positive that is put forward in this parliament. He has nothing positive to offer the country. He just says no to everything that is put forward, opposes change and can't, can't even lead, uh, lead his own party. Why, he can't even appoint a shadow minister for Stuart Robert, who resigned about five months ago, because he's hampered Order. by those people on his backbench. Now, despite the opposition of those opposite, we've delivered $23 billion in cost of living relief to Australians. $23 billion. Cheaper childcare, which began in July. More Medicare bulk billing that began just this month with a tripling the member for of Hume the bulk will billing incentive. Cheaper medicines on January 1, and then again the 60-day dispensing. This is the first question. This is the first question on cost of living we've had for them for months, for months. Order. Jim Chalmers doesn't have to worry about not being here because he won't get a question as the Treasurer. We had the energy bill relief Order. Members on my that left. we put together with states and territories last year, opposed by those opposite. Fee-free TAFE training, over 220,000 places making a difference for free. The building more affordable homes, again opposed by those opposite. Just like they oppose our actions that have got wages growing at the fastest rate in a decade. Just like they opposed the pay rise for aged care workers of 15 per cent. Just like they said an increase in the minimum wage would Member lead to Barker the whole economy collapsing. We've created 550,000 jobs since we came to office. The more, more jobs Order. created on our watch than under any first term government in Australia's history, and we're not even halfway through. And we did something those opposite never did. We turned a $78 billion deficit into a $22 billion Order. surplus. Order. There is far too much noise on my left. The